Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, you understood the logic to sort a singly linked list and in this lecture, you will write a Python program for it. I have created a file called salt.py which is in the same directory as that of a singly linked list through which we have imported the classes node and linked list. I have created a linked list with four nodes. Let's print this list and see how our output looks like. So let's open our terminal and it's Python 3 if you are on Mac or Linux and py if you are on Windows space the file name which is salt.py. Now you see that we have the output as 4, 3, 5 and 1 which is not in sorted order. We want to sort this linked list and our output needs to be 1, 3, 4 and 5. Let's get started. So we will create a function, let's call it salt to which we will pass our linked list and this function will sort our linked list. So let's write the function definition that would be salt which accepts a linked list and within this we will perform few iterations and sort our linked list. As we had seen in the previous lecture when our number of nodes were 4 the number of iterations were 3 which means your number of iterations depends on your number of nodes minus 1. So let's first calculate the number of nodes in our linked list. And how do we do that? We have a method called list length which gives us the length of the list. So your number of iterations will be your list length which is a method of the linked list class. Now this returns the length as 4 and the number of iterations will be 1 less than that. So now that we have a number of iterations let's start a while loop. So we need to run this loop 3 times. So in each iteration we check if our number of iterations is not equal to 0. So initially we have our number of iterations as 3 and within that loop we perform some operations. So let me just write a comment for that now perform operations and then we decrement the number of iterations by 1. So at the end of the loop we decrement this number of iterations minus equal to 1. So the first time your number of iterations has the value 3, the second time it has the value 2, the third time it has the value 1 and then it reduces the value to 0 which breaks the loop. So at the start of each iteration we need to start from the head node and we assume the head node as the largest node. So let's have the largest node which starts from the head node. It would be linked list dot your head. Now in each comparison we need to check if your largest node, if the data at your largest node is greater than the data of your next node. So in the first iteration as seen in the previous lecture we have three comparisons. In the second iteration we have two comparisons and in the third iteration we have one comparison. So in the first iteration your number of iterations has the value 3. In the second iteration your number of iterations has the value 2. In the third iteration your number of iterations has the value 1. So if we assign number of comparisons equal to the number of iterations, in each iteration we'll have the number of comparisons that needs to be done. So if we start a while loop similar to how we have our number of iterations, we start if while number of comparisons is not equal to 0, then once again you perform some operations and then we decrease the count so that is your number of comparisons will be minus equal to 1. So similar to this initially your number of comparisons will have the value 3 for first iteration in the second iteration it will come down to 2 and in the third iteration it will come down to 1 and then when it goes down to 0 we come out of this while loop. So let's perform the operations. So we need to check if our largest node is greater than the next node. So let's do that. So if your largest node dot data is greater than your largest dot next dot data. If it's greater than your next node then you have to swap this node with your next node. In that case we call a function called swap next which will swap your largest node for which we pass the linked list largest node and the node next to that which is largest node dot next. So now let's write this swap next function. So in your swap next function we accept the linked list, we accept the largest node and we accept the next node. Now initially this is how our list looks like. We have the head node 4 and then we have 3 and then 5 and then 1. So now we have passed the largest node as 4 and the next node as 3. 
Now we want to swap their positions. So we want 4 to point to 5. How can we make that happen? So your largest node dot next will point to your next node dot next you have the details of 3 in your next node. So when you say largest node dot next equal to next node dot next, your 4 now points to 5. Now next you need your 3 to point to 4, which means your next node, which is the node with the data 3, the next of 3 should point to 4, which is your largest node. So now you have 3 pointing to 4. and the rest of the list continues. Now since we have swapped the head node, we also need to change the head to 3. So we check if our largest node is linked list dot head. If this is the head node, then we make the next node as our head node. So now we make 3 as our head node. So that would be your linked list dot head is now the next node which is node with the data 3. So our first comparison has now been completed and we have two more comparisons left. So this while loop repeats once again, this time your largest node remains at 4 and you check if 4 is greater than the next of 4. Now here we see that the next of 4 has the data 5 which means 4 is not greater than 5. When 4 is not greater than 5, we make the next node as the largest node. So if this is not greater, then you make your largest node as your next node. So that's your largest node dot next. So now we are done with two comparisons and we have one more comparison left. So in the next comparison, your largest node is 5 and we check if 5 is greater than 1. We see that 5 is greater than 1 which means we need to swap. So when we call this method now, when we call this function swap next, this time we pass 5 and 1 as the nodes. So now when you see this, your largest node dot next, which is the next of 5, needs to point to the next of 1, which means your next of 1 points to none and your 5 will now point to none. Similarly, your next node dot next, which is your 1 dot next, should now point to 5. So your 1 points to 5. And now if you see, we have a link before that. We need 4 to point to 1, but that connection has not been established. We need to have 4 which points to 1, but this connection we haven't established it till now. So when you swap a node, you should also pass the previous node, which means before you advance to the next node, we need to store the previous node. So when you first start with the head node, the previous of head is none. So let's have that as well. Your previous node when you start from the head node will be none. And then in each iteration before you advance, you store that in the previous node. And when you swap a function, you also pass the previous node. Now you need to establish a connection from previous node to your next node. So let's do that. So your previous node's next should now point to the node with the data 1. And where do we have node with the data 1? We have it in our next node. But now if you observe here, Initially, when you have the head node, we pass the previous node as none. So when it encounters this statement as previous.next, this will throw an error. So we need to perform the statement only if this is not the head node. So if this is the head node, the statement gets executed and we return from this function. And if it is not the head node, only then we change the previous node. So we are now done with all the three comparisons and now our number of iteration reduces by one. So when our number of iteration reduces by 1, this loop once again repeats for number of iterations and we start once again from the head node and this process continues. So now let's save this program and execute it to see if our linked list has been sorted. So we have a syntax here. What does it say in line 20? You have a name largest not defined. Oh, it's supposed to be largest node dot next dot data. So let's go back to line 20. That's your largest node dot next dot data. So let's try executing it one more time. And we have another error that says swap next takes three positional arguments, but four were given. Let's see what that is. So we did include previous node in the function call, but in the function definition, we have missed that out. So the order is your linked list and then your previous node followed by the largest node and next node. So now let's see if we have any more errors. This time we have no errors and we see that we have the output in sorted order, which is one, three, four, and five. 
So that's the end of this lecture. You now know how to sort a singly linked list. In case you have any doubts, do put them up on the Q&A section and I'll help you from there. I'll see you in the next lecture where you will learn how to remove duplicate entries from a singly linked list. Thank you.